My Hometown, brought to you by Giuseppe Pizzeria by Dr. Utker. How will your family settle the last slice? We all know someone who has been impacted by cancer. We may have lost someone we love, seen a family member go through it, or a friend, a colleague, or we're survivors ourselves. Sadly, it's all around us. But there's a rink on a property in Strathcona County that has become a symbol of hope for the fight against cancer. It's called Saker's Acres, the home of Dr. Brent Sake. Here we go. Sake is an optometrist and works with a number of Edmonton's pro sports teams, including the Oilers, Oil Kings, and Eskimos. He's also someone who experienced great loss because of cancer and spent a lot of time at Edmonton's Cross Cancer Institute. My dad had passed away with cancer, and uh, I took him to the cross every day, and. Uh, he just said, keep the kids out. That was his deal. He said, uh, this isn't a place for kids. So made him a promise that I would do what I can. And my wife had cancer, and, and she passed away. Um, so I made the promise twice. In 2003, despite never having played hockey, Sake organized a hockey game. But it wasn't just any game. 40 players, each with a story of their own, got together to play non-stop hockey. The goal? Set a Guinness World Record for the world's longest hockey game and raise money for the Alberta Cancer Foundation. 80 hours, a new world record. Initially, it was just my family. It was uh, a group of uh, a core of maybe eight volunteers that uh, tried to feed us. and. In that game, we raised about $85,000, and since then, it's done something that, that is incredibly difficult. The event and its impact have become bigger than Sake could have ever imagined. Over the past 16 years, a total of six World Longest Hockey Games have been played in Strathcona County. The most recent game was last February. It lasted 10 straight days and was more than 251 hours long. You get on the ice, um, your shifts are usually about four and a half hours to as many as seven or eight, which, you know, for a day or two is fine, it's fun. And then your body starts to, to fight back a little bit. It's ugly after day two, the blisters that, that are happening and frozen toes. It's just this cycle of eat, sleep, play hockey, eat, sleep, play hockey. You don't get to see your families, your friends, your pets, everything, but everybody's here for the same reason. After you're done playing, it's about eight months before you'll get the feeling back in your feet. It's so minuscule to what people facing cancer have to deal with. It's pretty amazing the volunteers that come to help to, to keep us fit to play for 10 days. It's over 800 volunteers now to put this on. We have schools all across the province putting on their own 24-hour hockey games and they come and present their check while we're playing and that sort of thing. It's a very, very special place to be in for those 10 days. The games and records are impressive, but the most impressive and important stat of all, SAKE and the community have raised $5 million for cancer research and patient care in Alberta. Our staff and patients benefit from pieces of equipment that his funds have raised, and it helps attract the world's best cancer researchers and, and clinicians to site here with this kind of equipment that we've got through his fundraising. The next world's longest hockey game is at least another year away, but that doesn't stop those who are involved from taking part in a more relaxed game once in a while. After all, stepping on this ice represents a success story that's worth smiling about, while never forgetting the reason they started this, in the first place. I play for my grandma and grandpa. I volunteer for my daughter, Susan. I'm playing for my mom. My father, for my mother, for my little sister. My wife, Natalie, who is still going strong after three different occurrences. I skate here for my mom. 
We're playing for the family members that we've lost. I volunteer for my mom and my dad. I beat it once. And I have hope. We, we have, have hope. hope. We have hope. We all have hope. My Hometown, brought to you by Giuseppe Pizzeria by Dr. Utker. How will your family settle the last slice?